Well, welcome back everyone. So what is a freezing cold January morning? Um, so today we're back onto the Mercedes. I'm going to be looking to change the, the front grille. Um, put it onto the sort of GT style uh, Panamericana uh, grille. Um, the one that I've got is, to be fair, it is a, a sort of generic one that I've got online. Um, fitting procedures are pretty much the same for all of them. Um, and we'll just see how we uh, we get on today. Um, is a little bit involved. We've just got to take the front bumper off, um, but I'll uh, try and do it as uh, painfully as possible. And um, I want to try and use as minimal tools uh, as possible, so that um, it, it is something that you can do on your driveway with minimal tools and uh, sort of time and experience. Um, so we we'll see how we get on. Okay. So first things first, um, underneath the car, you need to remove. Um, on some videos it shows moving both belly pans but to be fair you can probably get away with just moving the front one uh, and let the, the back one just hang down a little bit and it's held in by uh, lots of 8mm um, bolts so we'll get that undone okay so once the belly pan's been removed uh, what's next is just the on both sides is a little plastic rivet um, that just needs to be removed on both sides. Okay, so the next thing that needs removing is three more rivet, plastic rivets in the wheel arch. So you've got one there, one there, and one there. And then once they're removed, we can uh, get to the two bolts that hold on the side of the bumper. Obviously, there's three on both sides. Okay, so once you've popped out the three rivets, uh, you've got two 10mm bolts. Um, try and do this with <laughs> so you've got one right at the front here and one just sitting behind in the centre of the screen there so two 10mm bolts on either side and that'll be the bumper released on the sides to release the bumper all you're going to do is pull down on this bit of the bumper but what you need to do is pull down and away because um, you've got to be careful these two uh, positioning lugs on the top um, if you were to just pull forward and not pull down first there's a chance you might break them um, so just be careful with them and um, what I would suggest um, what I haven't done is um, put some tape just along this top panel um, like decorators tape just to protect it um, whilst you're installing. Last two bolts you need to take off underneath the car are um, you've got two 10mm ones just in the centre so you've got one there whoop, and uh, one one on the other side and then you've got the other one that sits just just there on the other side. What I would do is just check to make sure that there's no damage around here because that's your sort of passenger protection system uh, so just make sure everything's all nice and clean and tidy around here mine's obviously slightly dirty so the last things to remove are the five talk 25 air bits that sit there 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 and th in there and then that will be the the bumper loose okay so that's the bumper now um off um obviously don't forget to just disconnect the wiring harness on the side um but yeah so next thing removing the old one and putting on the new one uh first things first we've got to remove this polystyrene uh crash bumper but be careful because of the pedestrian crash sensor that runs through it and this literally just clips on at the side there and there on either side and it should just pull off next thing to remove is this rubber outer gasket it's held on I don't know if you can see very well in there but lots of just clips all the way around um, with them they've just got the little lug you just need to pop it out um, I've tried using a panel tool um, but I think you're going to have to use a flathead screwdriver for that because it is a little bit more uh, forceful plastic shield is off uh, you've now got um, a load more clips um, so with this you've got all these along here up there 
along here. All the way along. All the way around. Um, once you've unclipped them, then the grill should pop out. Okay, so getting this these clips off is an absolute nightmare. What I have found is if you start in one corner, and uh, if you just once you've got the like, first two or three, if you just put a panel tool in just here to hold it, and then go along, and then just pop them as you go along, um, they do seem to pop out a lot easier. Um, but these top ones you have got, if you look, two rows all the way along okay okay so now all the old ones removed it's just a case of putting the new one back in so also with the uh, star grill um, that just it just twists in so I haven't seated it incorrectly, but once that's on, I'll do that at the end. So that's the new uh, grilling. Um, what I did find is um, if you were to start in the centre, um, try and get these two on first. Uh, put your hand either side of the bumper, so you're pressing the grill in and pushing it forward at the same time. It'll clip in the first couple and then sort of work your way from the centre outwards and your centre outwards, clipping them all back together. And once that's done, it's then just a case of fitting the polystyrene back. Again, just be careful of the, the sensors. Um, and then that'll be that done. Um, and then it'll just be putting the bumper back on in the reverse order, and that'll be your grill changed. Well, that's uh, everything back together now. I'm um, hoping the uh, video was um, helpful. Um, if it is, uh, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, got a few more videos coming up. I have got the full uh, Maxton design uh, undersill kit, so front splitter, side skirts, uh, and I'm just looking into trying to modify the rear uh, canards um, that I've got off the C63. I know they're not for the car. Unfortunately, no one makes rear canards for this car. Um, but we're going to see if they, the Maxton ones, the C63, uh, can be modified uh, to fit. Um, but so those videos are coming up. We've got a few more on the uh, smart car coming up as well. Obviously, any any questions or queries, um, give us a comment in the uh, comment section. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Um, in regards to this, um, the grill, it done half look a lot better. It does. Um, it took me about an hour, hour and a half um, I reckon you could probably do it in just over an hour um, if you sort of just cracked on with it. Um, I have to admit the grill itself removal is a absolute pain, um, but slow and steady. Like I say, if you start in one corner and then work way across, once it starts loosening up, once you get to the middle, it's pretty loose um, and it, it does start to pop off quite easy. Um, like I say, any questions on that, give us a shout and I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.